Okay, so for the next part of this tutorial, we want to create a lead magnet super fast. And one of my favorite tools right now is called Beacon. Um, there's a whole lot of features that are really cool about this. Like it actually works with your blog, with your WordPress blog or HubSpot if that's what you're using, more likely WordPress. Um, but what it can do is actually pull your articles into an ebook format and you can share it in like a web friendly version. It's going to have all of your links if you have affiliate links or links to your offers and all that good stuff. Um, but in this situation, I'm just going to create one from scratch. Okay, so I already have an account. Um, you can check over here for pricing and stuff. Let's just, we'll check it out while we're here on the pricing thing. So uh, you can do free forever. So um, you can see here it's a bit limited. Uh, I have the unlimited version myself, um, but you, you can totally use this for free. Awesome, even better. So I'm going to go over into my uh, beacon account here and you can see I've already got a couple of books that I've created in here and I've got the top 10 resources started I had already started this book before I started the tutorial so I'm actually just gonna click on it and then I'm gonna show you how you can start a new book from scratch um, but this way we can make the tutorial a little faster and you can see why I love the software so much um, it really does remove some of the issues that people have like with like I don't know how to create this I'm not a designer all that stuff um, because let's face it if you want to go to to a, a real designer if you want to outsource it it's either going to cost you a lot of money because design work is expensive and rightfully so those are really talented people or you're going to have to find somebody overseas and, and outsource it it's going to be a little bit cheaper but if you just want something that you can be like okay I'm in complete control of this and I can like this um, resources guide like what I'm doing um, or a tools guide really shouldn't take you more than maybe a couple of hours like it should be very very fast um, so here we go so this is the first page but I'm gonna go over to my pages so you can see what they look like they're all drag and drop so if I want to change the order um, I can do that so I've got my my main page which you're looking at now if I want to change the colors and fonts or any of that stuff I can just click on layout of this page and I can totally change what it looks like and you can see it always looks kind of nice if I want to put in a background image I can click here and I can say from my image library and, and this is included the image library as part of their stuff so if I wanted to put in a nice nature background here I could click on this and I could put like maybe a mountain explorer in the background I'm more of a beach girl myself so let's let's go with the beach right that looks pretty nice um, but they've got all kinds of really nice backgrounds that you can use or if you don't want a background at all if you want to just keep it clean then you can always say remove background image and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna recenter that because I think it looks nice you could go a little sideways action if you wanted how about that okay so that's how you deal with the pages and that's the same thing for each one of these different pages so if I click on table of contents you can see that I'm using this particular layout I could go over here and change it to look completely different and it still looks great no matter what I do I'm gonna leave it right there though and then you can see here that I've got uh, let's go down here to the three essentials cool so you can see that I've got like I've broken it up into little pieces just the same way I went to layout and then I just decided on which layout I want I'm choosing this one but of course I could go with a one column layout or I could go with a two column layout and it still is gonna look fine okay so no design skill whatsoever involved here again you could go with a background image in this case I'm not you can change all of the colors on every page or you can change the document styles up here so you change it on the entire document at one time okay so the document styles are going to include things like your colors and your fonts so everything gets updated at once it's super easy to use okay and so when you're done with it all you need to do is just click on generate PDF and now you can see that it's open and if we scroll down you can see that it's actually created a beautiful document that is completely print ready and you could just upload that to your website okay so you could use a little bit of tweaking and of course this isn't completed I've got to put in my links and I've got to put in my descriptions and stuff but you can see it all looks pretty good if this is the color that I was gonna go with so that is how you do it now I want to go back real quick and show you here on the main page that you have the downloadable version like what I just showed you is just a regular PDF you could download that upload it to your server or wherever however you're gonna um, how you're going to deliver your lead magnet right whether it's through lead pages or lead boxes or whatever um, but you can also do it this way I'm going to click on the share link and you've got these other ways to share so you've got these links okay so you don't actually have to upload it to anything and I'm just going to go to that so you can see what it looks like 
and instead of it being a PDF, it's actually a, a web-friendly version. So whether you're on a cell phone or whatever, you can just people can kind of click through. They can just flip through it page by page in their web browser. So they don't actually even have to download it. You could just send them this link. Um, you've also got the download link here. If you want to download your PDF, you can share it onto any social media site, or you can um, use WordPress to automatically convert your blog content into a professionally designed ebook. Like you literally tell Beacon which blog post you want to use, and it will pull it into an ebook and format it for you. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, in this case, I didn't have a blog post I wanted to pull in. Um, and if that's the case for you, then you would just create new ebook. And you would say, I want to start with a blank template. And as you can see, you can you could go with converting blog posts, but here we're gonna start with a blank template. And you get to decide what theme you want. Let's go with the social theme because it's nice and quick. And so it's starting with the front page. If you wanted to change the image, of course, you can always go into main image. Again, image library. It's a little redundant. I'm just, I just wanted to show you kind of what the image library has in it, right? So that they're using illustrations. And so if I was going to do something about money or if I wanted, I like this, I like this predator guy. There's all kinds of cute stuff in here, right? So let's go with the owl book. Okay, so now we've changed the, the look and feel. And I'm gonna go back to my pages here. And you can see that it's already created these pages for me. So I can just go in and click on them and actually start to edit, okay? And so to edit a page, you just go in here um, and it's just like any other page editor. So instead of you having to worry about formatting and how is it gonna look, you just do everything in here just like you normally would. That's just an image that you can put in. Um, so if you're used to using any text editor like WordPress or HubSpot, you're going to have no problem. Okay, you're going to have no problem going in and editing this stuff. So again, you can always change the layout here. And that good stuff. And they give you good prompts too, like they've got the table of contents here and they've also got a call to action, which is really important because the last thing you want to do at the end of your ebook is be like, okay, thanks for coming out. <laughs> and then nothing, right? When you're talking about using automation in your business, you always want to be using a strategy where you're moving your prospect towards the next thing, right? You don't want to stop them dead in their tracks. You want to keep them moving down the line. So you want to have a call to action that takes them to that next step, whether it's to watch a video, whether it's to sign up for, uh, you know, it could be your free membership site or join your free Facebook group, whatever the case may be, that's what you want to put in your call to action. So you want to make sure people are moving through the process so that my friend is how you create a lead magnet super duper fast all you need to do then is click on generate PDF it takes about 30 seconds for it to do that for you and now that that's created you can either click on the the download button and use that as your lead magnet or you can use the other sharing options that I showed you so that is how you create a lightning fast and super effective lead magnet with Beacon. Now in my next blog post, what I'm gonna show you how to do is to create a really beautiful lead magnet cover image, right? Turn this, this cover image of this ebook into an actual 3D image that looks a little bit more substantial, a little bit uh, you know, higher quality, higher perceived value so that you can put it on your lead capture page and actually improve your opt-in rates because as we know, we want to convert as many of your website visitors as humanly possible into leads, right? Because you can't start any automation, you can't start any sales process, with somebody who doesn't opt in. So we're gonna make your stuff look amazing, like a million bucks so that people wanna opt in and download your amazing PDF. And I will be showing you how to do that in the next video blog post. I'll see you there.